Welcome back to another video guys. Today on Harry's Adventures, I'm gonna give you, uh, it's gonna be a short video this one, we're gonna give you a run through on the trolling mode, the slow mo, whatever you wanna call it. I'll show you how to work that. I'll show you how to, um, yeah, I'll show you to use a sounder and the speakers as well. So we'll give you a run through of these quickly. So this is my 2021 Sea Doo Fish Pro. So you plug the key in to start with, just down here, obviously. And then, um, to do the slow mode, you've got to plug this onto you, so you're safe. Just plug that onto you, plug that onto there. Just pretend that's off, that should be off. Turn it on, turn on the ski, hold down your red start stop button. Your dash turns on, I'm in neutral at the moment. You can be in any gear. So you hold down this button on the left uh, control panel, the left side, hold it down and it beeps and it says slow mode up here and then on this side you use this up and this down so you do that and then in the top above the three yeah see it goes up and it goes to nine just here goes to nine and this will get to 10 k's an hour which is it'll get to six knots in a second on my sounder and then if you want to slow it down press the downwards button Slow your kilometers right down. So you've got nine levels of adjustment. Slow it down to one, I found, which is about two, two, yeah, pretty much two to one and a half knots. I found this was uh, prime speed for trolling for Barramundi. That's the speed we normally troll in the boat for them, and I found that speed works perfectly on the Sea Doo. So I found the, my favorite part about the um, trolling mode, slow mode, whatever so far has been when you're in the six knot snow wash zones you can just crank that bad boy up all the way to nine which will set you at exactly six knots you won't go any over and then you can just steer it on in and pack all your rods and all that while you're going on and you don't have to worry about holding the throttle another tip i found that is awesome and i found last time i was setting out the reef the other night if you go into oh and to get out of slow mode you just touch the forward or the reverse or the neutral you just touch any of the sticks on any of the, the accelerator triggers and it'll put you out of it and you're sitting back in neutral there so hang on i'm in some mangrove roots so i would just like to get out of there even though this ski has idf which idf is another video but it pretty much blows the shit out if it gets stuck in your grate so that's the slow mo right now we'll go through the speakers, which I'll show you in a minute, and the sounder. I'll show you the eco mode. I found eco mode, it only sits at 50 to 54 Ks when you're trimmed right up. So I found that's good, but you, when you're trying to modulate the throttle, when you're just cruising out the reef and you're like hitting big waves, you can just hold it pinned at 50 and it handles the chop pretty good at 50. So to do that, same thing, you go to this, your control thing, hit mode, and that'll, you hold it, it'll go to sport, and then you hold it again, and then it's in sport. But if you just press it, you can press through all the modes. So you got sport, and then eco. You press eco, it'll say eco just here, and then you can only get to 50 k's an hour. And it takes off slower. And that's about four pins. That's your eco mode, that's your slow mode. Now we'll quickly show you the sounder. So the sounder, I'll turn it off. So to turn the sounder on, you hold down on the power button. You can link it to turn on when the ski turns on. I'm going to figure that out. I'm going to have a look in a minute at my settings on that. It does take a minute to turn on, but that's okay. We'll just let it do its thing, my Bobby. Now it's the 2017 to 2019 Garmin. I've also got a Max card that you put in there. Um, I got mine from my local Sea Doo dealer. It was 150 bucks. Boom, plug it in. There you go. No worries. Thanks for coming. You get all the maps, all the green zones, all your other zones, yellow zones. Uh, heaps of information. All right, it's turned on. So it pops up with this thing. I don't know if you can like get rid of it, but you, either, you just click select, and then it brings up your last screen you're on. So if I go home, is what you want to use for everything. So then you got your charts, fishing chart, navigation chart. You got all your different charts, and then you can use back is here then you got a cross you got your sonars you got your traditional sonar and you can go back you got your all you got your split frequencies you can customize this to your own 
then you got frequently used which is obviously frequently used you know the last page you're in and then you got combos this is i like combos you go in there the combo one two and three so three is two two uh maps combo three is a sounder and a map and you've got two different maps you got fishing map and you got a navigation map so that's what those two are so if you boom select on that it brings up on the side here your speed gps heading your water temp mine we used to work like yesterday it's now stopped i'll have to figure that out my depth my time of day i've also got my time of day set on my dash here to change that you use the mode button and you flick through on here so that's pretty much the sounder covered and now i'll show you the speakers just quickly, one other tip that is awesome I found. I don't have it today, but I normally wear my Apple Watch on my wrist here, or your Garmin Watch, your Samsung, whatever you got, you know, your smartwatch that you can do your music with, right? So as I'm cruising along, if I want to turn it up or turn it down, I can just, mine's got a little dial. I can just use my nose or something as I'm cruising. Like, it looks a bit funny, but you can do your speed, uh, your volume, or you can just use your other hand, turn it up, down, change your songs. You don't have to worry about reaching over here or getting your phone out of there. You can also, if you just hold that down and then press play, it'll play the last song you play. So it's a bloody awesome unit. No, one more thing. There's lots of things, but one more. Lots more. Ah, uh, this here. Quickly, I forgot to show you this when I was out on the water, but I'll show you what I'm doing for navigation lights and white anchor light. I quickly brought it up, but I'll, I'll just give you a better bit of look. And it, I think it's a fantastic idea. Um, I found these guys. That's what they're called there. They're from New Zealand. Uh, I think Andrew Hill designed this. I think he also part designed the Sea-Doo. Um, with, I think they're called Railblazer. On top here, this little starport thing they call them. So down here, yeah, here you go. Railblazer holds everything. That's pretty accurate. So in this little bag, I've got a lot of goodies. So you've got a nice little bag. I've got my red and green light for driving. My white light for anchoring, they also float apparently, and they're 100% waterproof. And I know they're waterproof as I put them in the salt water yesterday. Uh, GoPro mount for the front. That's just a little short extension to get the GoPro a bit higher or, you know, whatever you want. I had to buy all this separately, by the way, so... But you can find it online if you just search these guys, the first thing that pops up. Um, this is pretty cool. This is what my white light attaches to. Let's just quickly put it together. And then the way they work is, you pick up the right light, goes in the hole, boom, slide that across, button there, white lights on, and then you just put him straight here in the back, in the middle, at night time, and there's your anchor light. Nice, simple, easy. What you can also do is bring your ankle light up here, open that up. Probably have to unlock it first with help. And there you go, nice, nice and high. If you anchor at night time, boom. What I normally do is though, I keep the white one down the back, just down the back because it's easier. And then I also run this at the same time, button on the back. Uh, I'll put it a correct orientation. Boom, hit the lock button. I've been out in 25 knot winds. This thing hasn't moved. It's been soaked in salt water and it lasts. It's awesome. So, that's just that other little thing. Thanks. Also, just quickly, another thing if you keep your key plugged in, it'll keep all your accessories on. I'm not sure for how long, but it will turn them off. Um, I think it's like three minutes or something. I think you can set it though. This is the only thing that I don't like, is when you're trying to open your phone thing. Shit's got a waterproof phone box here, this is sick. USB charger, all the gear. Alright, so, we'll turn the speakers on. We, so to turn the speakers on, you hold down this middle button once your key's in the ignition. It does that. Now it'll be, fuck, it'll, it should be pretty loud with the speakers like off the head. We can turn it down quickly. If you grab your phone out of your drawer box, if you hit play, Put your phone back in the dry box. And then you got volume, we'll crank it. So it, it fucking it cranks. It's, it's really good quality speakers. A1. 
So down here you've got pause, volume up, downs, change songs. So that's that done. That's the sound is shown, that's the slow mode, that's your eco mode, that's your sport mode. That is a quick walkthrough on your 2021 Sea Doo Fish Pro Accessories Centre Console Cockpit. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Harry's Adventures.